Calm here. Okay, this is an impromptu video to talk about the most recent Shelly firmware update, 1.4.0. Uh, there is a 1.4.2 beta, but I don't generally use the beta uh, releases. So, and I don't normally cover firmware updates either, but this one is particularly special because it has given us some new features. The first new feature that it has given us is this, components. We can create user-defined groups of components, so essentially areas. We can create user-defined components, virtual components, uh, booleans, numbers, texts, enums, buttons. You could think of those as the helpers if you're a Home Assistant user. Um, now you can only have 10 of those, but there are ways um, I'm going to be doing, I have, a, I have a script that I'm going to be showing that uses multiple Shelly devices together as um, sort of its storage for what it does because you are also limited on key value pairs. If you go into the advanced, uh, if you don't know this, there's KVS, that's key value storage. Um, you can go in here, you can have up to 50 of these uh, entries. They are limited in size, definitely check out the documentation, but it's really cool that you can do things with this. Uh, and I've, I have a way of um, combining them. So you could, you could potentially do the same thing with the uh, components. You could have different devices that control different components and just make sure that you handle all of the necessary communication. The next really cool thing about this is the BT Home devices. I have not tested this yet. I will be testing it. I will be doing a, um, an entire video strictly on blue, uh, and I'm going to be showing all kinds of different devices because they're actually really, really super easy to set up, so they don't need to have individual videos. Uh, but I'll be going over the Shelly Blue Gateway, and I believe that if you turn this on, it behaves similar to the gateway, um, or at least it can talk directly to other Bluetooth home devices. So uh, I, I'm not going to do it right now, but I will have a video coming up to do that. There's another new thing that has come with the 1.4.0 uh, update, and I just ran the update on this one. I haven't refreshed the screen because I wanted to find out. I believe that the KNX, the KNX uh, technology is for devices with controls, devices with switches. I'm not sure about the i4s, I'll have to check. But uh, so uh, KNX, KNX is a technology used for large scale residential and commercial automation. Um, it essentially is its own network um, protocol, kind of like Bluetooth or technology, I should say, with underlying protocols. Um, much like Bluetooth, but a, a little bit closer to Wi-Fi as I understand it. I have only scratched the surface of this technology. I have never used it. Uh, I am very much looking forward to it though. Once I do my due diligence uh, and research, I will bring that information to you. So that is what I wanted to show you. There are some other minor changes that came with the 1.4.0 update. Um, I believe there's a couple bug fixes and such, but these are the two uh, features that I really wanted to talk about because it's going to be cool um, messing with them, especially in conjunction with Shelly scripting uh, in the future. So, and I'll, I will also be doing a video on Shelly scripting, uh, the, more than just the basic stuff that I'm doing right now. Um, we're go I'm going to get into some really sort of crazy stuff because I like to do that. Um, yeah, so hopefully you'll join me for that and for the next video, which if this goes out in the order that I think it will, should be the basic load shedding video, which is a pretty neat one because it'll teach you how to manage your usage, your electric usage, sort of keep it in a narrow, narrow range. So definitely check that out. Uh, I do hope you'll join me for that and other videos as I continue exploring and building smarter circuits.